Hello and welcome to the tutorial. I'm going to give you an introduction to one of the world's most convenient and powerful business management software. It is primarily intended for small and medium-sized trading companies and small manufacturing businesses. If you're a small business owner, this product is for you. You don't have to be an accountant to be able to use the software. The unique interface allows the user to access any information in just two or three clicks of a mouse. Everything you need is always within the reach of your hand and you won't believe that such complex and tedious tasks as business accounting may be so easy and fun. In this tutorial, I will walk you through some of the most important features of the software so you can get started right away. Having worked with the system for as little as 15 minutes, you will learn to use most of its features and will be pleasantly surprised how easy and fast it can be done. The program will save you a lot of time for making important decisions and your employees will have more time to concentrate on developing your business. This is the screen you will see when you log into the system. There is a menu bar at top of the window, a series of tabs representing different functions of the program. There is what we call a tree panel here on the left and what you click on the left will display on the right in the main window. The main window in turn is divided in two parts. The upper part contains the list of items and when you click on one of the items its detailed description will appear at the bottom. This type of interface is standard for any of the program functions. The tree on the left, item list at the top, and details on each item at the bottom. Now let's take a closer look at the menu. The first step is called Transactions. From here, you will be able to perform all operations within your company or companies if you have more than one. Any of the operations we do in the system has a corresponding document. For example, if you're purchasing goods or services, you will need to create a document, also known as transaction, called purchase. If you're selling goods to customers, you will need a sales document. Now we're going to quickly go through the list of transactions available to you. A more detailed review of each transaction will be given in a separate tutorial. Purchase. It's a transaction you use to receive goods to your warehouse from a vendor. The goods are received and stored by lots or batches. We will talk more about the lots in a different tutorial. The purchase transaction will amend the financial balance for this vendor, debiting your account. Sales. It's a main document to use when you sell goods from your warehouse to a customer. When created and posted, this document will reduce your inventory by the quantity of items in the document. If the document is saved but not posted, it will create a reservation for this quantity at the warehouse. You will only be able to use the document for the existing inventory, and you can only ship the goods from specific lots. The sales transaction will also amend the balance for this customer. Credit in your account. Invoice. This document allows you to create an invoice for the customer and or reserve inventory for a certain period for the customer. It does not affect the balance with this customer. Based on invoices, you can create a sales or purchase document using Actions button in the main window. Quotation. It allows you to create any type of price lists regardless of the nature of your business. There is an option to create your own fields as well as automatically consolidate a price list based on the balances of all goods in stock. Waybill. It's an information document with details and instructions for shipment of goods. It does not affect account balances or inventory levels. 
Incoming and outgoing payments. These two documents are required to keep track of incoming and outgoing payments of any type and currency between your company and your business partners. These documents will change the balances with the business partner, debiting or crediting your account. Additional expenses. A very important and convenient document to keep track of your additional business expenses not related to purchase or sales of goods and services. It will not change the balances with your business partners. Financial operations. Allows you to make transfers of funds between bank accounts, cash registers and accounts, perform currency conversions, balance adjustments and other transfers. Return to vendor is used to return damaged or incorrect goods back to a vendor. Customer returns. This document allows you to accept returns from your customers. Customer order. This is an information document that allows you to take orders from customers for the items presently not in stock. It does not affect the balance with the customer. Using customer order, you may create an invoice and receive a payment, create a purchase document and a sales document when you ship to a customer. This can be done using the Actions button in the main window. Purchase order. This document is used to order products from your vendors. It does not affect your financial balance with this vendor. Purchasing or sales contracts. Information documents, which you can use if your business is contract-based. They're similar to purchase or customer orders, but have specific fields for storing contract information. All of these documents allow you to create a very flexible management system within the company. The documents are highly customizable, and you won't have to change any of your business processes to be able to use the software. Your system can be either contract-based, use orders and invoices, or use simple shipping and receiving processes. The model here is very simple, and it's one of the unique features of the system, which distinguishes it from most of the ERP products currently available in the market.